The spongy moth is one of the most damaging bugs to Pennsylvania forests. Officials at the Pennsylvania Department of Conservation and Natural Resources say the bug wreaked havoc this spring. Newswatch 16's Chris Keating spoke with the forest health manager for an update on the spongy moth. If you're driving on Interstate 80 in Clinton County, you may notice something odd. Many of the trees don't have leaves. The cause, Lymantria dispar, more commonly known as the spongy moth. The bug eats everything in its path during its caterpillar phase. Spongy moth goes through these outbreaks where it builds up, um, especially on the front side of an outbreak. The first couple of years are really bad because the egg masses are big. In 2021, the bug was responsible for 321,000 acres of defoliation across the state. Spongy moth outbreaks in central Pennsylvania last anywhere from one to three years. Outbreak expanded and built up in, in, in a lot of other areas um, uh, of, of the state. So we're, we're anticipating that the, the damage will be um, uh, larger than last year. It only takes about 250 egg masses per acre to get complete defoliation. Egg masses the size of a quarter contain about 250 to 500 eggs each. We were dealing with populations this year that had tens of thousands of egg masses per acre. The Pennsylvania DCNR sprayed insecticide across 210,000 acres of state-owned forest this year. However, insecticide isn't the only thing that can stop the bug. Generally what happens in the areas um, that it's been bad in 2021 and 2022 that that virus and fungus disease um, kick up and help control the populations. Folks who own or live on private land must buy their own insecticide or hire a company to do the spraying in the winter or fall months. For more information on private land spraying, you can visit our website, WNEP.com. Chris Keating, Newswatch 16, Clinton County.